Pivot tables are a way of sorting data so that it can easily be recognized inside of categories. We're going to be looking at pivot tables right now. So first of all, open up the file exlab7 underscore pivot dot csv. That should be on the Moodle site. And you will get some data just like this. It uh, breaks up some states into divisions, um, has years and populations attached to it. We're going to make a ta uh, pivot table from this data. So let's go up to the Insert tab. And let's insert a pivot table. And it will select all this data. If not, go ahead and do that inside the table range. And we want to place it inside of a new worksheet. So make sure that this button is clicked here. Let's hit OK. A new worksheet will open up like this. And uh, we want to enable the drag and drop area. So what we want to do is go up to Options inside of our pivot table. And then this Options column right here. Let's go to Display. We want to display the classic pivot table layout. It enables dragging of fields in the grid. Let's hit OK like that. Now here's all of our um, categories that we had from our data and we can drag this in to, to our pivot table. First we want to organize everything by region. So we're going to grab this region and we're going to drop it in the row fields. So we have Midwest, Northeast, Northwest, etc. Then we want to categorize it by state. So we're going to grab state here and we're going to put it in that same box and it'll make a little gray line here and you can see that it double um, sorts it just like this in our column field we want to put the year so we'll drag that up in the column field and finally we want to put the population as our data and so this sorts all the data by decade by state by region it also totals it up for us. We don't want this grand total, so we're going to go ahead and grab this column, right click, and we're going to say remove grand total, and it'll disappear like that. Um, so now we have all of our data. It's easier to read, and also something that we often want to do is insert a chart to show this data so it's even easier to read. Let's click one of the cells, and let's um, insert a pivot chart. So in options we're gonna have pivot chart. Go ahead and click that. And we're gonna click this one, the clustered column. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and close this and close this. And you can see that it sorts all the data. We can see that some states are growing rapidly over time. Um, and we can see that some have remained stagnant. We can easily look at all the populations for the different states. So pivot tables are a powerful way of sorting data and presenting it in a neat and orderly fashion.